following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We've got a couple of important things to cover here during this uh, hour. And hopefully tomorrow we're going to have, to have, folks, if you hear that noise, that's the monsoon. And, boy, we've got a monster going on in here. I thought it was past, but evidently, you, I don't know if you can hear the thunder or not, but, man, it is really pretty wild in here. We just had about an inch of rain, I think, just a few minutes ago. But hopefully we'll be able to get through it okay. I posted the chart of the FTSE and the DAX, and as you can see, they had uh, relatively important bearish patterns, and they've completed, at least they started to, as you can see, they've had a down move, much like we've had a little bit here in the stock market uh, today. I'll cover that uh, in just a minute. But I did want to mention one thing that I think is very, very important in the fact that it's what's happened, folks, with the Russell. I want to show you something that I think you're going to, to really enjoy. This is the story of the Russell. Let me get this up here. This is what's been going on. Now, what you're going to see here now is you're going to see that we're at the, the low today. The exact low there at 2173 was two standard deviations, as you can see. After we hit that, we had a very good rally. We rallied about 40 handles. But that's not the important thing, folks. The important thing is if we go below that, and if we go below that, that that's when there's big trouble. So why it's this way, I don't know. If you'd have told me this is the this is the Russell, I've never seen anything like this. I don't know what it means. It's the second largest index behind the S and P 500 uh, for stock indices. The next one, of course, would be the Nasdaq, and the fourth one is the Dow Jones. But you can see we went up exactly to the 61 percent retracement up there, and look where we are now. The low today was 21.73. This was posted before that low was made. Now, if we take a look at this and look at it on a daily basis, you're going to see, you'll be able to see it in just a minute, God willing, and I'm sure she is. Just a second here. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. You're right here. Hold on. There we go. Get this up here, and you'll be able to take a quick look at it. Here's the Russell. Now, looking at this, I mean, this doesn't look anything like the S&P, the NASDAQ. But you notice here, see, if we break below that second standard deviation, which was the low today, if we break below that, folks, the minimum objective is another 50 handles lower at 21.25. This is where the option boys have trouble, folks, is when they go past two standard deviations. That's when you have bad things happen. Now, the Dow's holding up relatively well. Uh, S&P's now no 16, 17. Um, it's done very little, so we'll, we'll see how that hands up, but we'll, we'll do uh, one thing at a time. Now, I was asked uh, a question about how I was able to uh, do 100% a year for six years when I was at Drexel. Let me just get this up here and clear something up, folks, because I, I, I don't want you to think I'll, I'll, I'll give you the whole story here. You can listen to it and take for what you want to as far as where you want to. Here's, here's the picture of the, uh, let's just get this up here. This is the gold market here, folks, all right? Now, I want you to look at here. Do you, do you see in the middle of the thing where it says awareness phase? And you see where it says bear trap right there, that bear trap? That was the week that I started working for Drexel. The first week in August, 1976, they sent me to New York to meet the boys at uh, Comex, the gold and silver people, because I was going to do a lot of business with them. I also met the people from the softs market, sugar, coffee, cocoa, didn't pay any attention to those boys. But uh, I did get to meet them. They took me to lunch. And then on the very first day, what they did was they took me to Delancey Street, and uh, we went into a haberdashery store, and they fitted me with uh, five Hickey Freeman suits, a dozen shirts, 20 ties, and three custom-made pairs of shoes. It was a total of about 10 grand. And I asked the young lady that, that had taken me over, I said, well, who's going to pay for this? She said, I have no idea. And she said, I know it's not us. And I said, yeah, okay. So anyway, I go back and I ask him. And he said, well, that's uh, don't worry about it. He says, we'll take care of it. And I said, okay. But my agreement with Drexel was if I didn't like it after 30 days, I could quit. And I wasn't really sure 
that I uh, was going to do that. So when I got back, first of all, when they sent me to New York, they put me up at the Plaza Hotel. Not only did I have a room, I had a I had a suite. I had a, a, a two bed, a one bedroom suite. It was just awesome, overlooking Central Park. And here I am, a boy from Terre Haute, Indiana, and I'm saying, "Shut the front door and raise the rent." Billy Ray Valentine has arrived. This was long before Trading Places, of course. So I go back to my first day of work, which was August the 16th. Didn't know anybody in the office except my boss and his boss. They were both there to greet me. I introduced me. to. There were 22 brokers in the office. I was there at 6 o'clock. I called New York uh, to put my first order in, and I had uh, 40 accounts set up, so I had a total of 65 contracts to buy. So I bought 65 Feb Gold for 1977, and uh, I was off to the races. And uh, I, you know, I knew I knew that the commission on these trades, believe it or not, folks, the commission on these trades was sixty dollars. Merrill Lynch was charging ninety, Dean Witter was charging eighty, and Drexel was charging sixty. So it was really, uh, really something uh, to, to see this uh, thing go on. Anyway. Uh, I put the order in. I did the 65 contracts and I called Goldbrook Brothers in New York. They were the ones that were doing all the clearing for the guys in Texas for Nelson Bunker Hunt and Lacey Hunt and the Silver Boys and the Gold Boys, of course. But anyway, so I put my first order in and I was setting back in and my, my boss walked into the door and he handed me a little ticket. And uh, he said, well, welcome to Drexel Burnham Land Bear. And he gave me the ticket. And my ticket was my my commission on that on that first trade that I made was ten thousand five hundred dollars, and I said, "Uh oh," I said, "I think I can hang with you guys." So anyway, I finished the day, I finished the week, and my daughter's birthday was August the nineteenth. She was seven years old, and Drexel had all kinds of perks: Hollywood, Dole, you know, Greek theater, everything. But the number one was Disneyland going to Walt Disney's private uh, studio above uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. And then they had a special par uh, birthday party with Mickey and Minnie and Pluto and the whole gang. Cinderella, the whole gang was there. And if you got to do that, that was a big perk. Well, what they did to make me feel at home was to give me that perk for Saturday. And uh, so I had six tickets. And six tickets for Disneyland with Drexel Burnham was not regular tickets, folks. These were badges. You didn't have to wait in line. You just walked up to the line. And the private, uh, the girl just took you right into the ride. You didn't have to do any waiting. And my kids just went wacko for that. Then we got to have our birthday party and lunch at the at the Mr. Disney's, a private thing. We had a birdcage uh, elevator. Oh, it was just really spectacular. I, I think we went there four times over the six years that I that I went to uh, work there. So after that, man, my kids were they were sold for it, and it was uh, it was pretty good. When the when my suits finally came in, uh, these were all Hickey Freeman clothes. I mean, it was really beautiful stuff, and I was trying them on at home, and my, my little daughter, uh, Laren, said, she says, Dad, she says, I think you might even be an actor someday, and I said, oh, God, help me. And anyway, that never worked out. So anyway, that's the reason why I was successful, folks. You, you see that yellow line there? That was the price of gold, folks, and I was bullish gold, and I was I, I got bearish on the 8th of January 1980 when gold was trading about um, just under 700 660 something and uh, for, of course the high was made in uh, at 865 in late January but that's how you do it you just get lucky god did I ever get lucky 877-927-6648 Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE, and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted a chart of gold, but before we get to that, I posted the second chart, which was for the hogs. That's for Bo. A perfect example of waiting uh, for that 382 to verify itself. You can see now we're down uh, almost $1,000 from where he would have put the trade on. Uh, that made it about as risk-free as you could possibly get. The the situation arose when he was short. He had a very small loss above the 382 going into the close. And our suggestion was maybe get out of it and then do it again on the next day where it went opened a tiny bit higher and now has broken down, um, well, almost three handles now from the high. So that's what you're trying to do is focus risk. I get email almost every other day saying, can I take this trade? Can I take this trade? Can I take this trade? You can take any trade you want as long as you put a stop in and it can assume the risk. Because I can't tell you which ones to trade and which ones not to trade. I really don't. The big question many times is how do we just determine whether we want to do it at the 1.27 or the 1.618? Well, if the difference between 1.27 and 1.618 expansion is relatively small, say like $400, it's not going to make a whole lot of difference. But if that difference is $1,000, that makes a big difference. So you might have to do two trades, one at the 127 and also the one at the 1.618. Now, I'm going to bring the chart up here for the gold because we want to walk through this. We were talking about the possibility that we we're breaking out above the magical 18, 18 level, and we certainly did that. And you can see here, we have this uh, next level at the 127 there at 1834.90 is the exact 1.27 expansion of that. It also happens to be the 50% retracement from the high that we made back at the 78% level at 1910. Now, let's just see where we where we were last night, because I want to walk through you how you set up a trade uh, as it's starting to form. Now, the one thing that we did know, and that is we were looking for the market to go up to just about the 1834 level. So all I'm doing here is I was just, you know, watching the AI program. And this is something that you can figure yourself out easier. We're going to cover this in the Aldrey uh, trading session on August the 11th. I'll show you folks how to do that. But you'll notice that we were looking for a top to come in right around that 1834 level. And the, you know, this, the um, 127, 50% is 1835 so that gives us you know two two really good spots to do it so if you're long that's where you want to be able to uh you, you know get out of your long and then also you want to be able to uh 
you know, book the uh, book to uh, get ready to go short. Well, just what this just to give you an example, uh, what happened to that? I'll just get you up here because I there's there's three lessons here to learn, and I that's what well I don't know I'm not teaching anything I'll just teach you guys how to suck eggs. You already know this stuff. Okay, here's what happened to the gold market. Okay, now I want you to see down there at the bottom the low of the day today was 1820. And that was just a time, that was where the old breakout level was. You remember at 1818? So 1820 is held, and we've rallied about six bucks, seven bucks off of that. So as long as gold can stay above that 1818, it's a valid breakout, and it wants to. Silver hasn't even come close to breaking out. I mean, it's lagging, you know, like the wicked stepsister in um, Cinderella. So um, that's why you've got to be uh, really careful. But uh, when you're doing these things here, um, <laughs> yeah, well, that's about right. Well, I didn't know. And you know who you, some, one of my friends uses that all the time. He said, well, I'm not going to teach you how to suck eggs, but I, I, don't, I didn't know what it meant. But David, since you're Mr. Google, I'll have to agree with you. You're probably, uh, you know, you're probably spot on on that. So I think it's uh, pretty important that you bring that up to us. All right. Now we've covered that. The main thing, folks, that you got to really pay attention to today is the fact that uh, you'll be able to uh, watch the, if the, if we go below two standard deviations, in other words, if the euro, the euro, if the Russell takes that out, that is going to be pretty negative. Now, I frankly have never seen anything like this where one index, which is one of the second major one, has totally given up the ghost when the others didn't. Now, we're seeing, you know, aberrations in the transportations and a few other things, but other things are just been uh, just been going straight up. And, you know, maybe that's what they're supposed to do, but that's what they've been doing. So let's uh, keep, keep those things in mind as we walk through this. Now, we've uh, been through, I wanted to just uh, bear with me for a second. I wanted to show you two things here. Someone asked me about the stock of uh, Mr. Disney himself. You'll see here that we made back on February the 8th, we made a three drive to a top pattern. There's a perfect ABCD up there. Uh, you have drive one, drive two, drive three. And uh, from there we went down. You'll made it first, we made a 382 retracement, just like we did with Apple. Then we came down, we made a 78% retracement. And then yesterday we went up and completed a Gardley at the 50% level at uh, one. 86.31. So uh, that is a uh, that is in fact a completed pattern. Now we're seeing a big difference between these markets today because of the fact that the, you know, the Dow Jones is only you know 30 stocks and they are price weighted, not cap weighted. So it was 200 lower, folks. And after going 200 lower, it rallied up during the day to be about 40 or 50 higher. I don't know where it is right now. But uh, that's what uh, that's what's uh, what's going on. They're also holding up here. David's got some information for us. Um, Dow stocks are also nine five five. I don't institutionally back. Just right. Okay, that's right. Uh, David's pointing out that the the uh, ninety five percent of the Dow stocks are institutional because these people, you know, they want to be involved in the stock market. And so they they use that as a basis for uh, doing that. And uh, Mr. Bo saying thanks for the future and stuff like that. Anyway, that's it. You know, you don't know, folks, folks you, you got to You got, I can't. Well, I'm going to give you the same thing before. You got to focus on how much money you got at risk. It's not how much money you don't make or how much you make. It's it's how much money do you have to risk. If you can keep your risk small, you're going to make it in this business. I don't care how long it might take you. I, the longest it ever took me to train a student was three years. Henry Tappan out of Knoxville, Tennessee, one of the nicest guy. He came to visit me here in Tucson six times, each time three days at a time. And finally, at the, the sixth time, he said, Larry, I finally figured out why I never make any money. He never lost. I mean, he had win money, lose money, win money, lose money, win money, lose. He always broke even. He said, Larry, I just don't like trading. And so he said, I decided I'm going to quit and open a laundromat. So he did. Two years later, I got a call from Henry. I was, how's the laundromat? And he said, great. And he said, Larry, you'd be pleased to know that I've been trading for a whole year now. I haven't had a losing month. I'm enjoying it. And I said, what was the... What was the difference, Henry? He said, I decided I didn't really care. And said, when he's at, he he, uh, he actually was doing pretty good. Anyway, he went on to, uh, you know, trade for a few more years before God called her, called him up to her place in the sky. But uh, he was doing it and he was loving it. But it took him well over five years 
you know, to get it right. But he he fought it, and he he had a lot of money. He was afraid of losing any of that money, which was good, which kept him alive. But he didn't until he released it and said, "Okay, I got to focus on something different than losing money." And then he started to uh, then he started to do good. But uh, it took me just about. Uh, I worked on three years full time. And then the other time, I just had to let it go. The other, I have to tell the story about my the toughest student that I ever had. Uh, I think I mentioned that before. Bruno Liberatore, God love him. He's a hedge fund manager. All they trade is corn, but God, he's done well. 877 Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the chart. It's just a two-minute chart, but it shows what's happening to gold today. We had that high up there. Uh, at 18, uh, excuse me, 1835. You'll notice that we made a beautiful ABCD down $15 from the high, and again, touching right at the old breakout high of 1820. That's very important. As long as you don't uh, break below that, that tells you this trend is still going higher. We've rallied $8, still going higher. So as long as it does that, it's a valid breakout because it, had that not held, that would tell you that this thing was not a real breakout. It was a false breakout, but that this validates it. 
and that's why you want to be able to do it. Now, we've had a huge drop in crude oil today. One time we went, we went below – uh, we went below 72 a barrel. We got down to 71.67, and we rallied about a buck and a half, I believe. But uh, that was a very, very important number down there because it was a 10% down from the high that we had at 7,700 when we had that three drive to a top pattern in the uh, August crude. And so that that is another one that is very important. Now, well, be if you're watching crude oil, the, the main thing that you should look for, and this is two cents. Not going to teach you how to suck eggs, suck eggs, but if you if you move from from 77 to 71, that's seven cents. So if you if you're going to rally back, and this is really going to be bearish, the most you're going to be able to rally back is about 25 points, about two dollars and a half. So watch the price of crude if it gets above 73.50, because if it can get above 73.50 then it's telling you that yep that was just a washout and we're on our way back up but it's got to be able to, to be able to do that i haven't checked the prices on august crude recently but uh that's the what we're looking as we're watching these things uh here un unfold today so i think we have bypassed the old monsoon so far because that makes it pretty nice to uh uh, get going now. I want to spend just a tiny bit of time here uh, on the Nasdaq because uh, we've been able over the last few days. This is what we've been able to do. You'll see here. Has that been the high today, uh, Marshall? No, that's not the high. I saw it above that. Uh, so 72.15. Need is seven. The number is 72.50. If we get close above 72.50, that's above the three percent level, and that would be. Uh, that would be a big deal. Now, if we're looking at the NASDAQ here over the last, uh, since the 1st of July, you'll see the ABCD pattern. Now, we made that high twice, folks. Two days in a row, we hit that exact high. Remember, we talked about that, just shy of 150. So it would, closing above uh, 15,000 in the NASDAQ would be incredibly bullish. Uh, and it might. You just don't know because, you know, Apple is still up around that uh, 148, 149 level, and there's a lot of numbers uh, in Apple at that time. If we look at, uh, I want, since we're talking about Apple, I want to get that up here, and then we will move on to something else. Here's that number we were watching yesterday in Apple. Uh, with that uh, little red box, we were uh, the, the number at the top of that box was 149 and change. I believe we hit 150, as I recall. I don't know where it's trading right now, but uh, that th this has been an incredibly uh, technical stock. I mean, it's done everything that you want. And we and if we look at Apple, of course, on the weekly basis, you'll see again. You know, the three drive uh, to a top pattern with uh, near perfect symmetry, uh, 21 and 42 uh, weeks between the highs. And uh, that doesn't mean it can't go up forever. And they might. But uh, that's what we're paying attention to. OK, the oil high. There you go, Marshall. The, the, the high Marshall Robinson is kind enough to tell us that that oil high made the 382 retracement at 42, 40, 72, 48. That's exact number. Uh, so these numbers, when they hit, my goodness, you got to pay close attention to them because uh, they uh, they really do work well when you see them. And boy, that uh, makes you wonder sometimes why other people don't understand this stuff. But I guess, who knows? Let me go back to silver just a little bit because I wanted to show uh, the fact that uh, this silver uh, on this last rally, hold on one second, get this up here. You'll notice here uh, on this last rally, all the silver could do was to uh, get up to make that ABCD pattern up there at 26.52, and then sold off about 50 cents. I mean, it really they really hammered it as gold was going up. So silver needs to clean uh, clear the 26.60 uh, level uh, in the silver, and I think then you'll have a better better chance of uh, seeing it go higher. And I believe that's December silver. Uh, as I recall, um, can can someone give me the last price of December silver so I know where I stand uh, with that? And I think it would be a better idea if we can uh, see that going on. Oh, the the interesting chart from the uh, I don't I didn't I didn't copy it today, but it's a chart from the uh, Elliott Way folks on the um, uh, what in, oh the the Treasury bonds. The fact that the Treasury bonds have been in a bear market for quite some time. We just had a 61% retracement today. It's trading there right now at uh, 163.15. Uh, that was a 61% retracement. That moved down from 165 down to 161. We covered it at 162. And uh, the rally back today made the 61% retracement. So 
Uh, that's following along, still in a bearish mode, but that's it. Now, we're going to have some bigger moves here in the currencies very shortly, folks. And the one that we're watching uh, really closely here, and we have for several days, is the euro. Just get this up here. Uh, the last was, uh, that was the last price of 26.35. Okay, thank you very much. All right, let's go. There we go. We'll get this up here. There we go. We've got that. Uh, there's a three drive. There's that three drive to a bottom pattern again. And of course, we had a very, very strong rally coming out of that. And that was a very interesting one to watch it unfold. If I can find the uh, the chart showing the difference. There it is. Hold on a second. There's where we go. That is not going to work the way I want it. And that's not the one I wanted. Shut the front door and raise the rent. We've got a lot of things happening in the grain markets, but folks, i got so much going on in all this other stuff, there's just no way that I can possibly uh, cover the grains and stuff without, uh, well, the only one I can discuss that I've been watching, and that was corn uh, just the other day, and we, you know, we, we mentioned that if corn can just move just a tiny bit above, uh, hold on one second, tiny bit above the uh, 382 here at 54 uh, 546 it'll take off and uh, indeed it did it backed off just a little bit and then just kept on going along with soybeans wheat and corn and of course david white posted monday the wheat uh etf that he follows for uh, he and the tom o'brien uh, uh trading uh what do they call that thing? Uh, timing of the trade. And uh, it was just spot on, had a huge move to see that it's uh, going a little bit higher. So that's the main thing of what we're looking at right now. If, and I'm saying if, you can get through 877-927-6648. I'll be happy to answer any questions. But I wanted to make myself very, very clear during those years when I was at Drexel Burnham, you know, I was I was following. All commodities were going up. I did short selling, sure. I had, and all in uh, on my trades, I was right about 60 percent of the time. I was wrong. I had a few instances where I had to in implement the three-day rule, but I didn't have any big drawdowns. And uh, you know, so it was a, it was a good thing. The main thing that Drexel told me the day that I went to work there was, look, he said, we have an elite clientele. They've made money, they've lost money, and they have no problem with that. The one thing they do have problems with is to lose all their money. He said, so you have a 25% drawdown. You lose that, get back to work for Eli Lilly. I never had to look back. I got lucky. Yoo-hoo! 877 Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. All right, folks, we're back. I posted the chart. It's a 15-minute chart of August crude. You can see we had a high uh, yesterday at 75.60. That was 20 pips away from the exact 78% level of the whole move up and down. From that level, we went from 75.48 uh, all the way down to 41.48. And then, of course, you can see the 382 retracement uh, back here. Actually, I, I miscalculated because I was doing it off the cuff. It, the, it came in at 73.01, and uh, the high today has only been uh, within, let me see, it's been, it missed it by uh, eight pips. So that tells us is that 382 is valid. We did rally the two and a half points that I expected, but it was off by just a little bit. So as long as we uh, don't get above 73, we're in a pretty, pretty substantial bear market. Now, those of you that like the three drive to a top or bottom pattern, you can see here over the past, uh, six or seven hours in uh, actually four hours of trading you see we made a really nice abcd pattern uh with a really nice symmetry there that uh helps work out and um uh, okay mr z says i'm your role model mr z i would trade places with you in a heartbeat my friend you are the king of kings buddy you are uh well yeah my mind is still hanging in there pretty good i i'm gonna be uh gonna be 80 years old on the 28th of july happens to be in a couple weeks and Basil Chapman will be doing his second show then. Try to get and see that. But uh, I've been doing it, and I, I, I enjoy it very much. I met some wonderful people along the road. And I just got very lucky, folks. I mean, I just stumbled into that stuff. I mean, I really did. I mean, I, when I when I when I told the guys at Drexel that you know I'm going to give you uh, you know uh, 30 days, and they laughed, and they said, "Act eh, whatever you want." And you know, they were just you know they just realized that you know once I got there, I mean, it was it was such an easy way. I didn't even have a secretary for two weeks. I had to, to find a secretary. So Bob told me, he said, "Introduce, inter try, see if you like this girl. She she's she she works slow, but she's very." Uh, she's very reliable so i said yeah her name was connie and uh guess who connie her father her grand her godfather was none other than gene roddenberry of star trek so that's i got lucky picking that one so those are the days of uh, what's going on well you know what they say luck is where preparation meets opportunity so who knows that's uh, neither here nor there okay Okay, uh, yeah, well, that's true. That's uh, hold on here, just a second here. Yep, I I was uh, I was uh, born. I was five years, four years old when Pearl Harbor happened. Uh, let's try that again, Larry. I was uh, <laughs> I wasn't born yet, December seventh, nineteen forty one. I would think I was six months old. I was born on July twenty eighth, so I was six months old. I was living with my grandmother, and I lived with her for four years until the war was over, because my mother made airplanes in Chicago, and my my father was uh, he was a supply uh, uh, person over in uh, 
where was it? Uh, Oceanside, California. So I didn't get to see him very often. But uh, and when the war was over, then we moved back to uh, to uh, Terre Haute, Indiana from Chicago. Anyway, that's a little bit of neither here nor there of the old stuff. But I just got pretty lucky along the way. And my luck is still holding up. You know, I've been uh, – health has been pretty good. I have a few bad things happening, you know, in my life. But, uh, you know, basically, you know, not really very much. It's been – it's been pretty uh, – Pretty, pretty much a lot of fun, actually, if you want to look at it that way. All right, let's move on here to some of these other things that we're looking at today. I still think this is the one that's going to cause trouble down the line. I'm going to bring this up every day till they tell me to stop doing it. But this uh, margin debt thing is the one that is uh, going to be uh, – going to be the problem because uh, the I know these markets, they go down and they go up and they look like they're going to go up forever. But boys and girls, trust me, they don't always do that. So make sure that you protect yourself because nobody else is going to uh, if you don't, because, uh, you know, there's no one out there that is uh, saying, you know, be really careful here. Now, the, the Elliott Wave people came out and said, yes, we're up here at this number five that has been going on for six or seven weeks and then they gave uh, some caveats of why these stocks can st continue to go higher which they can we've seen what the fed can do i mean anybody that can uh, you know raise a, a couple of trillion dollars very quickly they can keep pumping it but someday when the pump ends there's going to be all h to pay and that's where you want to be uh, you want you don't want that to happen OK, that's another one. Now, let's get over to the U.S. dollar index because uh, we're in this same situation here that we were uh, with Apple. You'll notice here it looks like that we are preparing to make a three drive pattern up here around the 9300 level in U.S. dollar. That means we're going to get the euro down one more time in that 117 area. And I think that's where we really have to take a look at it from the long side. But we're not there yet. See, we've cleared the 78% level, one, two, three, four, five. The last two days, we've, we, we've been above it all the time. So that tells us this wants to go a little bit higher, i.e., the euro goes a little bit lower left. So we had a nice rally off that. It rallied 80 pips off of that three drive pattern, and now it's heading back down again. So, you know, these are these are shorter term. When you're looking at a 15 minute chart, folks, trade the 15 minute chart. Don't go looking at a weekly or monthly once you've seen a 15 minute chart thinking this is the this is the one that's going to be like the British pound in Brexit or you know, some of the others that, you know, you might have stumbled onto your gold at uh, 1960 on its way down to uh, set, uh, 1600. Anyway, remember to keep the, if you put the chart on on a 15 minute chart, take it off on a 15 minute chart. Don't go switching back and forth between time frames. You'll be able to see that. Uh, Ruby's asking me, what is my average size when trading futures? Uh, at this stage in my life, if I do more than five, it's it's a it's a it's a catastrophic event. Well, it's an event. Usually, it usually around three. I like you know I, I like to do that. That's that's what I feel comfortable with. That I I don't I don't I don't need to to try to uh, beat the world, which I'm not going to. But uh, I'll, I know that I'll never do the type of business that I did when I was at Drexel. But that's okay too. That was a different uh, different time in my life, and I took different risks than I than I do now. I remember, I was stumbling into a a market that went basically up. I was bullish from '76 all the way to January the 8th of 1980. And uh, oh, I have to show you. I've got to give that story. That's they've asked my one favorite story. <laughs> Let's get this chart up here because this is a really interesting one. I'll probably have to finish it here uh, before we get going here. Let's get here. All right, you'll see here. You see where it says uh, on that secondary high there, return to normal. There, the gold was 710. Okay, that was making a 61% retracement back from the high made on January the 20th at 865. We came all the way down to 505, rallied up to 710 on that uh, Friday night, and I sold, I think I had 140 contracts short at around 708, and it closed at around 703. And guess what happened, folks? Iranian jets hit Iraqi. Um, uh, Power plants, war has broken out in the Middle East, and the price of gold is soaring. That was from uh, Charles Osgood at 5 o'clock news and CBS in Los Angeles while I was taking my shower. I heard that. And he said, the price of gold is soaring. And I said, oh, dear God, I've got to start all over again. 
And so I figured, well, it's up maybe one limit, possibly two. And so I just, I didn't even finish shaving. I just threw on my sweats. I got in my car, drove like a bat out of heck, and I got into Drexel about uh, record time, about 18 minutes later. And I will tell you the end of that story when we get back. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Hi folks, this is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Okay folks, uh, I was telling a story about Charles Osgood. It was June the 7th. Uh, it was halfway through the year. We the, we topped on the 20th of uh, 20th of January, so it was June 7th. We were halfway through, making a 61% retracement. I had sold a bunch of contracts on the uh, on Friday. Had about a four dollar lead going into it, but John Osgood said uh, Iranian planes had hit nuclear reactors and war had broken out in the Middle East and the price of gold was soaring and then he started to go into the commercials and by the time he was going through the commercials I was already in the car on the freeway because I said oh this is going to be a disaster so I'm listening and he keeps going on and on and on and on it must seem like two forevers and finally he says and the price of gold in the London fix which you never even hear of it anymore he said is up sharply at two dollars and 65 cents an ounce and i almost slammed on the brakes and but i said well i might as well go on in so i went in and i'm dressed in sweats by seven o'clock when my boss came in he thought i had quit 
because you know I wasn't wearing a suit. It was a uh, it was uh, it was a Monday, I believe. Yeah, yeah, it was a Monday, of course. And uh, and he said, "What's wrong?" And I said, "Oh, I had this position, and I thought." And by the time I got there, gold was down seventeen dollars. Ended up being down the limit uh, that day, or close to it, and so it ended up being a big move. But I had to go through all that stuff. And the sequel to this is about five, six years later, long after I left Drexel, there was a, uh, I was, I'm taking a flight into Las Vegas to give a, uh, a talk with, uh, uh, what's, oh, shucks, I can't remember his name. <laughs> oh, Ben, oh, what's, what's, what's the, the really smart guy? Ben, uh, oh, I can't remember, I think it's, Anyway, I'm giving I was giving him a talk, and uh, he and uh, I know there was Charles Osgood sitting next to to me on the plane, and I said, "Oh, Ben Stein, yeah, it was Ben Stein," and so Ben and I were on the plane, and he knew Charles Osgood, and I said, "Boy, I said, man, did you cause me a lot of problem problems?" Do you know what he said to me? He said, "Man, he said I don't write that sh stuff. He said I just read it." <laughs> See you on the flip side tomorrow, boys and girls. Hope you'll have Tommy Terrific. Tommy Hugard may be our guest. May God bless. Mm-hmm.